Hello and welcome. It's time for Sunday afternoon football. Today's game from Marvel Stadium. Well, joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hello. It's great to be here. For today's match, we have St Kilda and the Dockers. Captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. St Kilda winning the toss. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. And here we go. It's in Kilda taking on Fremantle. Johnson Curry kick. Took her eyes off the ball. McCarthy was taken high in the tackle. Clears the congestion. Blasts it inside the 50. Moved on by Bowers. Johnson wins the marking contest. Puts boot to ball. Gets a quick kick away. Quickly onto the boot. He intercepts the ball well. Puts it on the boot. A strong pack mark. Moves it by foot. Cleanly picked up. Kicks hurriedly. Quick handball. Linking by hand. She finds herself in space and marks. Wants to move it quickly. Couldn't take it. Duffy collects it. Williams hunting with authority. Fantastic tackle. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Looks to move it by foot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Williams with quick hands. She gets it back. They can link up now with the ball now. Does well to cut off the kick. Uses it by foot. Miller going for number one. Out on the full. Elects to kick. Kane takes the mark. We've played a fair chunk of this opening turn without a goal. Might be too far out to score. Lining up from a 45 degree angle. She decides to go for home. Now they lead by one. Weighing up the options now. Ball collected. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Outstanding pressure. And the ball ends up over the line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Guides it down. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick. Webb decides to go for home. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Gets her first. 
Congratulated by her teammates. She's kicked the first goal. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Up for grabs for White. Duffy couldn't stick the tackle on Drennan. Wants to keep it moving. Takes a strong mark. With a driving kick. Sedinary takes a strong mark. Going for goal number one. The Saints supporters delighted by that effort. They get around her after that effort. St Kilda get there first. Back with another set of bounce. McDonald won the tap. Well collected. Bort pushes through with power. Takes a simple grab. 40 metres from home. Move it on. Sharp going for number one. Sharp misses everything with that kick. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Got boot to ball. Finds a bit of room to mark. Goes with the kick. Marks it on the move. Chose to kick it. Gets into a good position to take that. Kick by Gatridge. St Kilda with a lot to think about as they trail by one. The Dockers started well. Now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Fremantle have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Cheers, Gaz.
We're ready for second quarter action. About to resume hostilities. Clears the contest. Fends off the tackler. She can take off after that handball. Ball spills. Duffy rushes with the kick. Going for goal number one. Bowers delivers with a straight drop punt. She's enjoying that goal. Seven points the difference. We resume hostilities. Fremantle needs to do a better job and gain more clearances at the moment. They're getting beaten in the contest and it's affecting the scoreboard. Gets the loose ball, just gets it onto the boot. Sockers it forward. The kick from Centenary. Use the hands and gives away the free. Cuts the kick in board. A chance to gather the ball. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Movement by hand, with quick hands. It'll be a ball up. Thump by McDonald. She has the ball. Is in her possession. Dragged down by Horton. Great tackling technique. Just put it on the boot. Here's a chance for Miller. Lucky to be on the receiving end of that decision. Dishes it off. Phillips getting in on the act. Phillips throws the ball away. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. She likes her chances from here. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. Miller puts her first goal on the board. Her teammates rush over. About to resume play. Thumps it clear. Looks up with the kick. Goes off the ground. The ball spills for Exxon. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. A piercing kick from Exxon. Carlson has resources out wide. Moves the ball by foot. Lucas Roy takes a strong mark. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Taking a nice grab. Breslin wants to keep it moving by hand. Missed opportunity with the handball. Exxon running off for a break. Ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Handball's out into space. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Shrugs the tackle, brings it out of the pack. Strong mark in the contest. Sash spears the ball. Good body work to win the mark. Uses it now. Horton looking to track down the footy. Finds the loose ball. Uses it now. Good mark by Kane. Moves the ball by foot. Takes the mark. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Sam just threw it. Well picked up. Hammers it. Goes for territory. Lucas Wright takes it well. The loose ball scooped up. Ball hits the deck. Picked up now. Slips the tackle. Gets it over the line for a behind. Looking to bring it back into play. Watts plays on. Moves the ball out of defence. Doing well to intercept that kick. Not much time left in the quarter. Ball off hands. My ball, says the umpire. Punched away. Dug out the loose ball. A good second term. See the scores. Fremantle 20 and the Saints 6. Fremantle have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Fremantle have got on top in the contested possessions. It's one of the key reasons they lead right now. Thanks for that, Gaz. It's half time, and we'll be back soon for the second half.
Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Thrashes it. She's got the footy in her hands. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Puts on a bump. The ball knocked out in the tackle. Duffy drives the kick. Sees off the tackler. Elects to kick. A chance to reload the attack now. Drives the kick hard. Terrific mark there. Fremantle can allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Now with a low spearing kick, intercepts the ball well. Moves it by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Phillips kicks it out of the back half. Good mark there. A spearing kick from Exxon. Oh, she did everything right except take the mark. Haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Yeah, she barely touched the ball, honey. Keeps it moving. She's leading the ranking points. She's dominating this game. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. Puts it right through the middle. She celebrates hard after that. Just two goals in it. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. One thing Fremantle got really good at is getting the ball inside 50 and then locking it in. They're well on top in that area and it shows on the scoreboard. Ball up in the centre square. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. McDonald gets onto the ball, gathers it now. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Punches are clear. Johnson dismisses her opponent with disdain. O'Sullivan with the mark. Goes by foot. Ware takes it well. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Decides to play on. It's a turnover. What? Bob's the handball. Fighting hard was Carlson. Hacking it out of there. Does well to get it out. Clears the ball from the contest. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Towards centre half ball. Mascol couldn't hang on to the ball. The handball now from Carlson. Misses her target by hand. A solid mark from Miller. 30 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number two. Through for a minor score. The Dockers doing well at the moment. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. She's gone missing lately. Unable to put that one through. Fremantle starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 22 to 12. Puts it on the boot. Couldn't complete the mark. They can create from this. Sam's just not good enough with that kick. Fremantle lead by 11. Considering the options on the kick in. McDonald didn't mark it. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Yeah, she's having a quiet match, Hutto. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. So what could Fremantle do with this opportunity in front of goal? There'll be a ball up close to goal. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Great attack on the ball carrier. Just got the hands in the back there. McDonald elects to kick, and the mark will be paid. 
What? Heads long with that kick. Great grab. A low stabbing kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Guts. Three-quarter time. Fremantle. 23. Plays St Kilda. 12. A quarter of footy to go. Fremantle. Fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Fremantle got set up well and are able to cut off these kicks forward from the opposition. Thanks for that, Gary. Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Interesting handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Mung spills it. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. Celebrating hard. St Kilda could kick back-to-back -back goals. The margin not too big to be closed before time's up. She did really well there and gets the reward. Fremantle are getting the ball inside 50 more than the opposition and at the moment they're capitalising on the scoreboard. With the ball now. We'll have another ball up. The players will be feeling it out there. McDonald with the punch. A great defensive effort. Hacks it out of there. Finding the loose ball was Gooch. Miller looks in need of a spell. Williams just too high with the tackle. Going for distance with the kick. Drennan uses the body well. Uses it by foot. Carlson does well to mark. Puts boot to ball. Ends up turning this ball over. Gets the handball away. Breslin has a teammate on the move. The tackle deserved a free and gets it. Unable to create the space. Fantastic pressure there. Sinks the slipper into it. She can't hold the mark. Picks up the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. Horton onto the ball. A lot of possessions for her. Takes that one strongly. A chance to put one through here for Fremantle. They should get a goal from this kick. If they just maintain possession and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. A time to celebrate. Look at them celebrate that effort. The lead is now 11. That's a really good team goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's quite simple. Fremantle have won more of the ball and they've been able to create more opportunities in front of goal. Nobody can hold on here. Picks it up. McMahon dug out the loose ball. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent and it's a free. Looks up with the kick. Nice mark under pressure. Goot uses it by foot. Using every ounce of energy she has left. We'll get a stoppage. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Now we'll get a ball up. McDonald clears the contest. Umpire calls for the ball. Thump clear. She drives it towards goal. Carlson going for broke now. The kick ends up hitting the post. It's under two goals now. Ready to bring it back into play. Antonio plays onto herself. Able to release the kick. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Gets it away. Hurried kick. Marks now and can send it back. 
Drennan kicks it. Man marks in a bit of space. Chips it towards half forward. The ball ends up with Sedinary. Moves it quickly. It's going to be deemed as deliberate. Punches the kick. Lucas Rod drops the mark. Haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She's barely touched the ball lately. McDonald thumped it clear. Just goes bang. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Got boot to ball. Spent that one before she earned it. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Can't take the mark. The loose ball scooped her. She's got the football now. Linking by hand. Ends up turning this ball over. Moved on by McMahon. Gooch takes it strongly. Stabs at the kick. Fremantle is certainly deserving of that win. Gary, any final thoughts? They just had more players playing their role today. And when footy is so even these days, that was the difference in the end. Thanks for that. The final result is Fremantle 4 5 29. To St Kilda 3 1 19. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.